Bishop Robert Kasaija Muhirwa Akiki, the Bishop of Fort Porto Diocese from Western Uganda. I was uh, ordained and consecrated Bishop of that diocese on the 15th of June 2003. And uh, actually this week I'll be celebrating 14 years as Bishop of Fort Porto Diocese. This diocese has a population of about 1 million Catholics. We honor the Martyrs Day on the 3rd of June every year. And uh, normally this is prepared by one of the dioceses in Uganda. And here there are other bishops who come from other uh, neighboring countries. People come as pilgrims from all over the dioceses of Uganda, which are 19 and a good number of some people walk from their dioceses. From their dioceses. Uh, like in my diocese, there were about over 500 people who walked. That's a distance of about uh, over 300 kilometers. They walk for about a week. As they come, they stay in some places where they pray. They have the celebration of the Eucharist, uh, offering prayers to the Lord through the intercession of the Uganda matters for their different needs. And of course, many people testify whenever they make these pilgrimages, the Lord answers their needs in so many ways of uh, getting jobs, maybe uh, restoring conflicts in their families and so forth. About three million pilgrims have been coming for this celebration at Namgong Martyr Shrine, where the majority of the martyrs uh, were killed for the faith. The first one was killed on the 15th of November, 1895, St. Joseph Balikudembe. Uh, this was one of the elderly and leaders of the martyrs. So Kawaka Mwanga was the, the, the local king of the area. Uh, when he heard that there was a certain uh, English man who was a bishop, coming, Bishop Huntington, who was coming through uh, the eastern part of Uganda, of his kingdom, it was kind of a nomen to come from that direction as a visitor into the kingdom. So he said, this man is coming, should be bringing mad, bad omen to me, so put him to death. So this martyr, St. Joseph Balikudembe, so it's not right to kill this uh, man of God, please don't kill him. So he tried to protest, but the king went ahead and killed him. And so also killed the martyr because he was kind of challenging the authority of the king. So this king, this uh, martyr, St. Joseph Balikudem is known for uh, being, standing for justice and also is known as a patron for politicians and uh, for justice, you know. So that was, was one of the first martyrs. Then there are others, 22 martyrs plus two others who are blessed, who died for disobeying the king. He would ask them to do certain things and they would say, no, like many of them were uh, still slay, going to practice the faith or going for instructions. Like at night, they would escape from the palace because they were pages of the king. So he, he gave them ultimatum. You either obey me or you follow your, your foreign religion. So because of that, he put them to death. He said, if you don't obey me and you want to follow uh, these white people's religion, I will do away with you. That's how a good number had their limbs amputated and the majority were burnt in the fire at Namgonga, this place where the shrine is. Many people give testimonies of how the Lord brings uh, harmony or even better health. Some people find that are sick, sickly. So when they make pilgrimage to Namgongo and pray through the session of the martyrs, find that their health is restored. They find some people who are elderly, sometimes they come with aches or things which are bothering them physically. When they make these pilgrimages and pray the intercession of the martyrs, they go back home healed. That's why the numbers, I think, are continuously growing when people hear different uh, uh, responses to the martyrs in the session being answered. You know, it's a powerful experience that people continuously get whenever they come.